to sell empowerment to women personally, for me, is trying to sell is no to snowman. You cannot offer something that you are made of. My work with women is never trying to empower you. It's let go of the lies that make you believe that you are not powerful. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a recovering perfectionist. I was in Brazil. I was 28 year old. I was a writer, I was a psychologist. I had a one woman show called Divas on the Couch. It would be Divas No Divan. That I've been one of the most successful comedy show for women in Brazil. I left all my career, everything I knew about who I was. I married this man. And I moved from Brazil to Fargo, North Dakota. You're thinking like, what the Fargo is going on with you, right? Me loca, you betcha. After getting married and having kids, sometimes it's easy for women to kind of lose themselves. Chris Linares has developed Diva Dance as a tool to build up women's self-esteem. I didn't know I was tapping to the creation of Diva Dance. That is, you know, a dance therapy that I developed for women. But back then it was just a survival thing for me to get out of depression. And she said, you gotta share with the woman in the gym. And I'm like, but I don't speak English very well, I don't want it. Before I used to be mad at myself for not being perfect, now I laugh at it. I love it. So that's what improve. It's my ability to embrace my flaws, embrace who I am. So that's when I developed a nonprofit. And back then I was invited to speak in two TEDx talk about women's empowerment. And then um, I received a call out of the blue and was um, a journalist from Glamour magazine in New York. I'm calling you because you are hometown heroes of the United States. And after I received the award from Glamour magazine, I'm like, this doesn't reflect who I am. Because here I am working with women's empowerment, going to all these conventions, and I couldn't empower myself to, to get in a car because I had major panic attacks. The hometown hero, I couldn't be the hero for my own daughter that I couldn't take my daughter to her school that is truly five minutes away from my home. And I went down on my knees and I'm like, what's wrong, God? When I see, I'm in the car and this huge bridge. And I remember a, a quote that was always in my home in Brazil that says, um, come all of you that are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. And I felt a presence, a loving presence that I believe and I see that it was the presence of God saying, I, Chris, I never told you, come all of you, they're powerful, wonderful, amazing. I told come the way you are. And that's when I start my journey to truly, uh, I start revolutionizing my mind. That quote unlocks something in you. And I'm talking about, I was afraid of actually bridge. Each one of us has our own bridge. God is calling us for something bigger than we can imagine. To stop believing in one of the biggest lies that have been stealing women's freedom all over the world. The lie that we are less than we were created to be.